Well, today I wanted to talk about uh, some general advances that are based on a particular trial called Valero 2, which was presented today. And I think it has big implications beyond what the trial was testing. This was a trial that took patients with hormone receptor positive cancers uh, and compared hormonal therapy alone with exemestane to exemestane plus the drug Everolimus. Everolimus is a drug that blocks uh, growth factor signals that tell the cell to grow. And it's been recognized as one of the drivers of resistance to hormonal therapy in the laboratory and in small trials has been shown to augment the effect of hormonal therapies. So this was a large-scale trial uh, that uh, looked at hormonal therapy alone plus Everolimus versus hormonal therapy hormonal therapy alone versus the same with Everolimus, and it showed a pretty dramatic improvement in time to disease progression. It more than doubled it. And so that is a big impact that has not been seen in trials, especially in this category of patients before. We've been looking for something that will augment hormonal therapy, uh, and this one makes a, a really big difference. So um, what, what's important about it is it gives us the concept of co-targeting, that we're hitting two biological pathways, in this case hormonal therapy and a growth factor pathway. And I think it sets the stage for advances in the future where we will actually be targeting multiple growth factors at once, and instead of just extending survival a couple of months at a time, that we may actually take even bigger steps. I'd like to see drugs that improve survival by a year, by two, or, or, or even more ambitiously to actually start curing some patients with metastatic disease. So we may be on the way to that, but this is really the first step. So I think conceptually it's important. In fact, these data are going to be taken to the Food and Drug Administration. Uh, they've already been filed, and hopefully it'll get approved in May or June.